welcome back friends so we have studied how we can integrate distillation column with the process and if an integration uh, you know if the distillation column is not properly placed we need to manipulate the pressure in order to either take the column above pinch or below pinch now just like our gcc for the you know uh, background process we have gcc for heat integration of distillation column so first thing required why how do we know whether we have to go for gcc analysis is only if we know that the column fits for integration that means either column is above pinch or below pinch source and sink capacity of any background process are known to us and this gcc will represent heating and cooling duties for the process feed and heating uh, feed heating and product cooling is also included in the background process reboiler and condenser duties are shown as a box as we have already discussed earlier that a distillation column can be represented by uh, the duties of reboiler and condenser this box is matched with the gcc for the background process and if we realize that there is enough heat uh, which we can transfer between process and reboiler or condenser then we'll go ahead with integrating distillation column with the process so the first thing which we uh, will be able to get from problem table analysis is P, uh, the location of pinch then while we design this distillation column we'll fix the pressure we know the reboiler temperature we know the condenser temperature so we'll be able to place our distillation column with respect to the process the pro uh, the column has to be either above pinch or below pinch but then when it is above pinch we must know whether we are able to whether we are able to extract the amount of energy sufficiently so that we can integrate the column so on in the left hand side on your screen which we see right is something which is a column which is you know not properly placed because this is your pinch point and the reboiler is above pinch condenser is below pinch so there is no point of transferring heat between process and the distillation column as we have discussed earlier on the right hand side of the screen we can see that the column is placed above the pinch and if we just see the values of temperature we may say that uh, it's a it, it, it gives us a good opportunity to integrate the column with the distillation column but as you can see the overlapping between the amount of you know heat is very less compared to the actual required amount so look at this this is the only area where i can exchange energy between the process and the condenser so actually i can just save the energy of this much amount else this will go to the utility which is below the pinch point so though on a pta diagram or in fact on, on a diagram where we show the enthalpy balance of the process with the pinch and the distillation column so looking at that graph we may say that distillation column is properly placed but actually there is no much energy exchange between the process and the distillation column and hence it doesn't make any sense because if you look at this particular uh, place right we'll have to supply two separate condensers one condenser which will be working on the process uh, stream and the remaining will be working on the utility so it doesn't make sense and other part is that the other portion of the utility you have to supply other part of the condenser requirement we'll have to supply with the help of utility so this integration of distillation column with the process is not very cost effective and this will be clear when we go to the next slide so if we see this here the distillation column is very much placed above the pinch and this is the reboiler and this is the condenser duty so the reboiler can be supplied with the utility from here this much amount of utility can be taken away to supply to the reboiler and the condenser will give that amount of utility uh, that amount of energy to the process stream so the process requirement is also match and only this much amount of utility is required to be supplied to the process and this is process to process as we already know while we discuss about gcc of the process so this is a very properly placed distillation column wherein uh, if if i draw it with respect to 
the TQ diagram of the process, if this is the pinch of the process and this is TQ diagram and if I have this as a column, right? So what we can do is we can supply a reboiler duty here and this can come back as a Q condenser, right? And how does it impact the overall scenario is your QH minimum will be QH minimum plus Q reboiler minus Q condenser. So your, your, your total requirement will go down, isn't it? So this is a very properly placed distillation column. In the same manner, when I go here, you know, where the distillation column is below pinch, this is slightly different where the distillation column penetrates the process to process transfer as well. This, uh, this will show that, you know, this reboiler will be supplied with the process. And when this gives away the energy, partially the condenser will be supplying it to the process and partially will be supplying it to the uh, utility. Hence, you require two condensers over here. If you can imagine this, what happens is that this particular box without distillation column is a process to process box just like this, isn't it? So actually, there has to be a transfer of energy from process to process. In between, we have inserted a distillation column. So what will happen is the distillation column will receive energy in its reboiler through process stream. Actually, this process stream is supposed to give away the energy to this particular process stream, right? But what happens is that it has been given to reboiler and then reboiler will transfer that through condenser to the process. However, the requirement of process is only this much. Whereas reboiler needs to give away this much. So this amount of energy from, sorry, not reboiler, I'm sorry about condenser. So condenser will only give away this much amount to process and remaining needs to be given to the utility. And hence you require two condensers. So GCC will talk about whether you will be able to really extract the energy and save the energy by integrating distillation columns. On top of it, how much amount of energy can be exchanged and whether we require one condenser, two condensers or even if the column is properly placed, we are not supposed to integrate the column with the process. So that is something which you get from GCC. Now say for example, uh, after all analysis, we realize that we cannot integrate distillation column with the background process. In that case, what we can do is we can play with the pressure. Either we can increase the pressure or decrease the pressure. By increasing the pressure, we can move the column upwards and by decreasing the pressure, we can shift it downwards. So pressure change will affect the placement naturally with respect to the process. What do we do? Uh, what do we want to do with the help of changes in pressure? You want to shift hot condenser stream from below pinch to above pinch and we want to shift cold reboiler stream from above pinch to below pinch. Mind well, this hot and cold are not with respect to the absolute values, right? Condenser will always have a temperature lesser than the reboiler. There is no doubt about that. Only thing is condenser wants to give away the energy and hence it is considered as a hot stream and reboiler needs the energy and hence it is con considered as a cold stream. While you go with the absolute value of the temperature, naturally the reboiler temperature will be much higher compared to that of condenser. So let us try to see what happens. So if I increase the pressure, if, like if, if I change the pressure, where would this pressure impact? This pressure will impact the temperature profile of the entire column. It will directly impact the duties required of the condenser and reboiler. Depending upon whether we increase or decrease the pressure, the duties required may increase or decrease. It may also impact the duties requirement for the feed preheating and the product cooling because while the temperature profile changes, the temperature at which feed needs to be entered would change and hence the duty required for free feed preheating changes. And in the same manner, your product temperature also changes as the pressure changes and hence your product cooling requirement also changes. It will also impact the shape of GCC. How does it impact the shape of GCC is because we know that while we have considered the background process, that background process uh, you know, will consider your feed to the column, your distillate and bottom. So these three streams are part of your background process. The moment your pressure changes, the requirement of these three streams would change as have already been discussed in the uh, you know, previous point and hence your shape of GCC also changes. Naturally, 
<coughs> pressure will directly impact your relative volatility and hence the entire design of distillation column changes entire size of the distillation column changes its diameter may change its height may change hence while we change the pressure just for the case of just just to integrate it with the process right it's not only the temperatures which will be impacted it is also the entire design of distillation column entire design of pta would change and hence it requires a thorough analysis before we actually say that we would like to change the pressure and integrate the distillation column with the process let us see how increasing and decreasing the pressure will impact the column operation so when i decrease the will i when i increase the pressure what happens separation will become easy or difficult so we must have studied this during our thermodynamics course that decreasing the pressure will ease out the separation if you increase the pressure your txy diagram goes up if you decrease the pressure your txy diagram goes down and it becomes you know uh, narrower while increasing the pressure broader while decreasing the pressure so separation will become difficult while i increase the pressure which results into more plates or larger reflex ratio so if you are designing the column you have both the options whatever you want to do but if the if the if the distillation column is already existing you only one way to deal with uh, this particular situation is to increase the reflex ratio however the other impact of increasing pressure is that the vapor density will increase so if i my vapor density increases the volume of the vapor will go down and when volume of, volume of the vapor goes down the diameter of the column will reduce so in a way my my requirement of the material of construction will not be more even if i can if i need to uh, increase the uh, you know height of the column by adding more plates so basically this two things like vapor density reduction and the you know uh, uh, separation become difficult right uh, that will uh, nullify each other to certain extent next generally we we only consider the the separation due to the thermodynamic impact however vapor density impact is generally not being taken care decrease latent heat of vaporization will uh, compensate for the utility as well so when you increase the pressure the latent heat of vaporization decreases this will require lesser amount of utility compared to the original pressure so there are certain points which are you know going against what we need and there are certain points which will be impacting positively in the requirement of utility or the capital costing so we have to analyze the all parameter and then come to the conclusion whether we can increase the pressure or not if we decide to increase the pressure what is the maximum limit we can go with so naturally the first thing which will come in uh, picture is unacceptable temperature due to the higher pressure the boiling point of the component on top will increase and then there is a limit second day is lack of sufficient hot utility so with increase in pressure the temperature of the reboiler increases and hence we need to supply your utility at a higher temperature than original pressure so these are the two things which will limit the reboiler temperature and in the similar line when i decrease the pressure since decreasing pressure will affect the separation positively most of the times we can go ahead with it but the the limit on that that is i don't want to decrease the pressure in such a way that the boiling point at top that is in condenser goes so low that i need to require refrigeration and most of the time we don't want to operate under vacuum the reason is very simple that the maintaining of the vacuum is very difficult even if when we conduct some experiment in our laboratory right maintaining vacuum is a very 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 important aspect so a small leak and the vacuum is gone and hence industry also would not like to work under vacuum unless and until it is very much uh, the requirement of the process so uh, based on this you know we can say that we can either increase or decrease the pressure and we can place the distillation column either above or below the pinch in order to integrate it with the background process so with this we come to an end to of this video and when we meet next time we'll talk about some new column design if somehow we are not able to place the column above or below the pinch how do we make sure that we can still save some amount of energy thank you